Morning everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm just doing a quick video before I head to work. Sorry if there's any noise, my puppy is being our neighborhood watch and staring out the window. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys how I keep track of the different diamond paintings I have. If you check out some of my other videos, I do have some about a diamond painting I just completed. It was a mystery diamond painting from Amazon which are the drills that I have scattered around my table. So I do like to keep track of them by squares versus round and then by company. So right now I have these ones from Amazon. I have some from Home Craftology and I have some from Diamond Art Club. I don't wanna make a separate tracker for the Home Craftology in these ones. Um, so I'm gonna do those, I'm just gonna add these kind of to that tracker. I do find the Diamond Art Club quality better than these Amazon drills and the Home Craftology drills. So I'm going to make sure that those ones stay separate and I keep track of these ones differently. And I end up putting them all in baggies. I don't have a good storage system yet. They're just in a box, um, like a box of goodies. All my extra pens are in there and things like that. But I did see this on another video. So it's not my idea. I can't remember where I saw the video. So um, I'm sure there's a few people keeping track this way. So what I've done in a notebook here is just keep track of, so this is home craftology and whether it's square. And this, these are all of the different DMC numbers. I have a chart from that I used from a Facebook group that I'm in that lists out all of the numbers. And I just wrote them all out in pen going down. And then when I have it, I highlight it. That way when I am putting my drills away from a kit that I do, I know if I need to put it in a new baggie or a new container. Most of them are in baggies. Some of my diamond art clubs are, let me make a bit of a mess here, are in containers like this for now. This one's not, it's just an old one from a kit I've recently finished, but I do have a bunch more of those in um, my closet. So what I'm going, what I wanna do for all of these drills is note whether I have them or not. If I do, I'll take the baggies and combine them potentially with other ones. I might keep them separate just because they are other company, but then I can, I'll can i know whether I have them or not. So this one did come with some really nice colors that I'm pretty sure I don't have from the other kits I've done with Home Craftology. This is Home Craftology Square and it is a number of pages. I didn't do them double-sided just because the pen really comes through on this notebook. The pages are quite thin. And then I just left some extra and then these were some different a numberings that I saw on the DMC chart that I had and I just left some blanked just in case and then I gave a couple of extra pages and then I have my diamond art club square I believe I've just written this one out I haven't actually gone through and looked at it and I need to do the diamond art club round still and I do have more of those I've only I've completed a few diamond art club kits um, I have these that I'm just finishing right now from Diamond Art Club that I didn't get finished before Christmas. They're pretty cute. Um, so I kind of have these on the go. Um, so that's why my desk is a, or my little craft table is a bit of a disaster. But so if I go back to the home craftology, it's pretty simple. Like I just used a ruler and I'm not a perfectionist by any means. So just roughly drew some columns and then used the lines of the paper for the rows filled in all of the different numbers from the chart and then just went through and highlighted what I have. So we can start with this baggie. So 318, if I go down. So I do have 318 already with Home Craftology and 317. So these two here, I already have. There we go. So I won't mark them down and maybe I'll add them to the baggie this are stickered. I think I've written on Sharpie on my other baggies, but then I can use these for something else. You can never have too many baggies, so then I don't need to write those down. I can move on to the next one, which is 413, which I have. These are pretty standard colors, the grays, and I did uh, the few that I have done definitely had a lot of gray and lighter purples. 159 I also have. Three eight one eight, so we can. They're not in order on my table. They kind of were when I was working on it, but so three eight one eight. I'm pretty sure I don't have. So here it is. So then I'll just give it a highlight, and now I know I have it. 
and then three, eight, four, seven. I'm blind this morning. I have not had enough coffee. There we go. Speaking of which, I'm going to have a quick sip of coffee. I drink my coffee out of a straw just to help with keeping my teeth whiter. It's just my home brew, 3850, so it's not very hot. But today's second day back to work and getting up early is definitely a struggle. I really miss sleeping in until nine. <laughs> getting up at six is difficult. My husband takes our dog for a walk in the morning and then I take him for a walk after work. Yesterday, I, I took him for a walk at lunch. My goals are now to try to work out at lunch. So I have my road bike on a trainer downstairs. So riding that at lunch or taking my dog for a walk. And then I take him for another walk after work. Um, he's a Border Collie, if you listen to any of my other videos. So his energy levels are very high, um, which is great, which is we, why we got him. We do live in the city, so it helps keep us really active. I like to hike a lot in the winter, or sorry, in the summer, not so much in the winter. I'm hoping, to, I'm trying to get into cross-country skiing, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do that with him once I can get him all trained up. So I'd love to see or hear how you guys keep track of your diamond um, and diamond paintings and your drills. I use an app called Gems Flow. I can try to find the link and add it into the comments for how I keep track of my actual paintings, how long you can keep track of the hours, uh, who you've given them to, if you keep it, if you gift it, um, when you started it, where you got them from, and you can add photos. So it's a pretty cool app um, just to keep track of everything. And then I do really like this way of keeping track of which drills I have. And then my rest of my system is pretty archaic because I just have this box which a pair of shoes came in and I really do just keep a bunch of random stuff in here so I keep and I also just try to reuse bags that I receive so this workout clothes came in here but this is from a completed painting home craftology so just in case any of the diamonds come off and I always have the 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 legends and i've gifted most of these and i just have like a bunch of pens and drills uh the pencil for making notes um lots of wax lots of trays um tweezers the kits come pretty much with the stuff so i'm going to look at trying to donate it if you guys have any tips about how you use all of these extras, please let me know. I use the same diamond pens over and over again. I know eventually they they will wear out, but I got a, a bunch of stuff from AliExpress because I wanted this roller and it came with a bunch of drills and pens and wax. So um, this is really handy for finishing off your diamond paintings. You just give it a quick roll to make sure everything's in there. And then I just have, this is a straightener. I haven't used this yet. Um, I think it's really helpful for drills. It's, I was using it to make my lines for my tracker actually. So multi-purpose tool. And then yeah, I just have, um, these are a bunch of bag, bag baggies and bag, <laughs> a bunch of extra baggies that came with the, the, the items I got from AliExpress um, just to put in my finished ones. And then these are all of the home craftology drills that I've kind of sorted out into their baggie. So I've just written on, I don't have a label maker or a, a sticker maker yet. I do want to get one. So maybe this you'll look at getting that. So I just put on where it's from the DMs in the DMC number. And that's pretty much what I've done for all of these. So, and then um, some of them, um, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that, but so that's kind of how I'm just storing them right now. Obviously a bit of a disaster in there. And then just have all of these extra, these tools. And then I have some brushes. I have um, Mod Podge for sealing. I don't know if that's the best. I watched a few YouTube videos and it was recommended, but I think there might be some better um, options out there. It did take the shine away. Definitely makes it really, um, the canvas very stiff. But it did take a lot of the shine away. Maybe I just didn't apply it right or have the right brush. But that is kind of just my little storage. That way it's all kind of kept out of the way 
once I finish. So I'll put all of these baggies in that box when I'm done. I think we're done with all of the high numbers there. So we'll go down to the 900s. So this is how I, I guess, kind of kit down, um, minus that I would be adding them to baggies. 939, have that one. So yeah, I do have quite a few from Home Craftology. It is too bad I wrote on the baggies. I could maybe try to get these stickers off and then tape them to the baggies that I already have going just to get as much use out of the plastic as I can. Um, while doing this hobby, there is a lot of single-use plastic and a lot of garbage that kind of comes out of it. So as much as I can save, uh, I can. That's also why I like those containers that I showed before. So I can store them in there and just take them and move them into the container, my like working containers. But let me know how you guys stay organized, how you guys are reusing anything that you get to kind of keep everything together without having a lot of extra waste, I guess is my main goal. But I'm trying to decide on which kit I'm going to do next. And I can't really decide. I am going to take a little bit of a break. I've been crocheting uh, toques to donate. I'm going to see how many I can make this year to donate. And I just I haven't been crocheting them. I've been knitting them on a loom. So just one of those round looms. And my hands are just getting sore. I've also been playing on my phone too much over the break. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the diamond painting and my husband always likes me to give a bit of a break from having this craft table in the middle of our bonus room. But I have a few puzzles that I wanna do. I was working on one that was impossible and turns out I was missing a ton of pieces. It was a secondhand puzzle. I have this um, storage thing I can move it around in and maybe I moved it around too much and lost some pieces. So I can't finish it which is super frustrating. Um, so I'm just gonna scrap it, throw it away and start a new one. And then hopefully I'm able to find someone to trade the puzzle with to get a different one. But I have, I think three that I've received as gifts that I would like to work on. So yeah, that's just how I keep track and a little bit of my storage. Like I said, the storage system's are very archaic. I would love to see how you guys keep track and store everything, but I find this super handy. It didn't take that long. I just, I watch TV when I do all of this. So I just watched an episode of something put this together, wrote the numbers down. You could probably print it, but I had this notebook and I wanted to use it and it's a bit therapeutic just to take some time to do something. So I need to go through and add my Diamond Art Club squares and then I'm gonna need to create one for the Diamond Art Club rounds. But I do think it's really important to keep the different companies separate if you find one's quality a lot better than another companies, which I did find Diamond Art Club's a bit better of quality. There was a bit more like trash within there, but the diamonds themselves, they were the same size. There was no machine, they weren't misshapen. They wasn't bigger and smaller, which I had found with them, another company. So I do think it's important. If you don't, that's fine. Do whatever works best for you. Um, let me know how you guys plan on using your extra drills. I am starting to get quite a few now. And I was thinking of maybe donating them along with some of the toolkits, like the, the trays and the wax and the pens to maybe a school or a daycare. And then they could use just glue and put them on paper, something pretty basic, but would love to hear how you guys use it. Same with how maybe you use like, this is my trash drills, how you guys are using your trash drills. I was thinking of maybe putting them in Christmas ornaments and making like confetti ornaments, but would love to hear you, what you guys think. But thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope this was helpful. Like I mentioned, let me know how you guys stay organized, how you keep track. Let me know what you're working on. I am trying to decide between a one, uh, a Disney diamond painting that I purchased from AliExpress, a Diamond Art Club, I'm blanking on the uh, an am Amaretto Spritz one to go with this coffee one that I have, or I have a home craftology and it's like a Paris scene and I have a spot picked out in our master bathroom if I were to do that one. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any thoughts on which one I should do next after I take a little bit of a break to give my hand some time to recover. Um, but I hope it was helpful and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Thank you. Bye.